Okay guys, it's the 6th of August in New Zealand here. Um, so it's still winter, apparently. Although I've taken half a day off because it's 20 degrees and I decided that as I haven't been able to get into these girls for ever, um, I would have a look. So this is my nuke. One of my nukes. It's an overwintered nuke which has, as you can see, done okay. Um, they are relatively quiet girls. Um, I'm only smoking them so I can get rid of this and I'm hoping that they're going to continue to be nice and quiet for me. We will see. Um, so these girls overwintered in a full depth. The ones there next door, which I will check in a minute, overwintered in a three quarter. So if they make it through uh, spring and carry on, um, it should be quite impressive. Right, so I'm just going to see. Okay, so they've got a reasonable amount of honey left in there. Um, sorry, the sun's probably not that great. So there's quite a bit of pollen, a little bit of nectar coming in. All of my hives have got a bit of nectar coming in. Oh, and there's brood all through the middle there. So that's cool, all open brood. I'm going to do some oxalic acid treatment today. Um, just that I'd finish checking all the hives first uh, and then see how we get on for do the oxalic acid treatment after that. So there's honey in this one. Um, right, pop that one out, put that one back in. Normally I like to pull out the, the um, outer frame first, but that just wasn't going to happen just then. Okay, right. So there's a lot of brood in here. So and it looks almost like there might be some drone up here. I'm not really sure. Looks like drone potentially. Um, sticking out a bit more than normal. So she might be thinking it's time for. Okay, there she is there. Let's see her. Possibly not. Oh, it's a bit hard to see. Um, she is. If I can get hold of it. This is her right here. Wandering around. She's a lovely queen. She's not very big. Uh, hasn't got a really big fat tummy, but she is still a lovely queen. Um, and I just, I, there's maybe a little bit of drone on this side. She's got a couple of almost drony looking ones here. Um, but yeah, she's got quite a, that whole thing is laid up in uh, eggs. So, eggs and brood not much of it capped yet so give us about three weeks and this hive will go crazy this has got loads of pollen just full with pollen that's cool and a little bit of honey so she's really only laying she's only laid up one frame uh, this one's got nectar coming into it and a bit of old grotty pollen there um, so this queen was one that was a supersedure. She was, um, for, well, yeah, she was a supersedure. She was a nasty queen. Nasty queen had some, um, I don't know, she stopped laying. She did some odd things. And then she, there were some queen cups that the um, bees made. I got rid of all of them because I didn't want nasty queen genetics. So I took some frames out of one of my good hives and put them into that hive. And they... Um, created this queen and she's doing really well so with the stores that she's had over winter to have basically a full frame almost end to end of brood she's not done too badly at all um, and you know overwintering a, a nuke is always a risk I've been told although it's worked so that's always a bonus um, so with this one I'll be putting a pollen paddy on Although they have got a reasonable amount of pollen, but I do want to get her going. Um, and uh, this one will probably take, I was thinking of maybe putting a, um, another five frame on top of this one. Um, but I might just leave that just a little bit longer. She's got a bit more room to lay. so um, And just see if we can get more stores into there on all five frames. Because uh, the outer frames really don't have a lot on them either. So there's still quite a bit of room in there for her to keep going. 
So I'll put a pollen patty on and I'll probably change her over to sugar syrup um, just to get her, try and get her laying a bit faster coming into spring, although there's no rush, she's doing really well. Okay, if you like what you see, uh, like and subscribe. I'm just going to check my three quarter nuke as well. I'll put the camera onto that so you can see that as well. Just a minute. Okay, so this one was a really late split. Um, so anyway, we're just going to see what she's doing. So all the sugar's gone from that one uh, and they're all working on this one. So that's cool. I'll just pop that down there. I'm still deciding what to do with these two really. Maybe I'll just leave the leave them without sugar syrup. It's a bit early in the season really to be too panicked about building up. Um, <laughs> so these frames are all stuck to the top feeder. Right. It's not really the ideal place for it, but um, okay. So this is a pretty little hive, little uh, split, but it did survive winter. So I'm quite happy with that. Um, get rid of its pollen patties. Um, so this one I was quite worried about. I did give this one a little bit of sugar syrup because I just thought that I was pushing my luck. Everyone kept telling me that I shouldn't be doing an overwintered nuke. Although I do know of others in this region that do it. So um, I wasn't hugely panicked about it. But, um, I thought I really needed to keep a good eye on her to make sure she was okay still. So there's nothing in that outer frame there, a little bit of honey on the inside of that outer frame. Um, sorry, this is, I've got it in a more, most awkward position next to a fence, so it's not very clever of me. Uh, so nothing in that, quite a bit of honey and pollen in here. So. I don't know if you can see that, so that's not too bad. I've got a little bit there. Um, so if they keep the sugar, if I keep putting a pollen patty on, they should be okay. There's the queen. She's a nicer queen. Um, this is the same same situation as the other nuke. Um, I just uh, put the queen cells in another and into a nuke and let them go for it and just see what happened. This was my experiment for my first winter. So she's actually got quite a bit of brood in there and she's laid all the way out to where the bees are covering. So um, yeah, she's doing quite well. Um, and on this side, yeah, same thing. All of that's all laid out. So she's actually laying better than this one, but she's got a bigger tummy too. Oh, and another hole. So she's actually on two frames of brood. So <laughs> that's, that's the funny thing, isn't it? A, a full depth one that I was less worried about uh, is doing worse than this little three quarter that I was worried about. But then I did give this one sugar syrup um, throughout. I, I um, actually put sugar syrup into the comb on this one. So maybe that's why She's come through a bit better. Uh, so if I do this again next winter, that might be the way to go. Just give them a bit of sugar syrup straight into the comb rather than um, in the top feeder. If you put it into the comb, it's closer to the bee cluster and they don't need to go as far to get to it. So um, it's worked for this time. So we'll just see how she goes through the rest of spring. Um, oh, I'll get her half a pollen patty. Only a little tight though, and a bit hard. Um, and we'll see. I'll check them again in a couple of weeks. She's got a bit of room, but yeah, as I say, she's going to. This hive's going to go quite uh, quickly, given the amount of brood that's in there. To the size box. So, hive B, three quarter hive, doing very well.